Welcome back to our channel before we get started today and I would like to ask you guys a question and my question for today is as you guys know I am back to work for the last two and a half to three weeks and it was super busy in the beginning but now it kind of slowed down a bit a little bit a lot <laughs> but um, I think because people are so scared right now and I just want to know what's the market out there is it the same for you guys has it slowed down or is it still super busy leave me a comment down below so I know for today's nails we're gonna be doing some colorful glitter in the hand painting butterflies super cute super trendy again butterflies are super trendy and why are you so excited back there <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. All right, guys, I already have the Not Polished Universal tips on, and now I am using the Not Polished OMG collection. It's kind of like a see-through jelly glitter collection. Very cute and summery. And I'm just going to kind of blend these all these colors together don't worry about them being perfectly blended because we're going to draw a butterfly on top of it so i'm just going to lightly dab these colors on make sure it's dark enough but also thin enough because we will be encapsulating it in crystal clear powder and for all these colors i will have it listed on the link in the description box for you guys all right and now i am just gonna make sure all these colors just kind of blend together not you, it doesn't have to be super blended again okay and then for the end i'm just gonna add a little bit of blue and you can kind of see how these colors are a little bit see-through but also very vibrant at the same time it's so pretty for the summer all right now that is on we're gonna go in and darken it just a tad wherever you want to okay i'm just gonna darken up some certain area that i want to be a little bit darker and once is once that's done and i'm gonna tilt it the finger downward a little bit and go in with my crystal clear powder and again when are you guys encapsulating the nail with crystal clear powder we want the powder to be a little bit on the runnier side because we want to avoid air bubbles in the powder we want it to be as clear as possible so it's okay if your clear acrylic it's a little bit on the runner side runnier side when you guys do this all right and just cut it off at the end like that and use the brush and I'm just gonna lightly press it into the shape again and for the next nail we're gonna be doing a vibrant marble again you can see how I picked up two colors at the same time as you can see on the tip of my brush and I'm just gonna make sure the powder is extra runny Make sure it's super runny. And then again, I'm always picking up two colors at the same time. Now I'm going with the green and the orange. And make sure it's on the thinner side also. And just kind of lightly just brush it around like that and make sure the product is super runny. And when it's super runny, the, they just kind of run into each other, creating that marble effect and give you more of a defined um, little veins, if you would say. There you go. Again, I'm going to pick up these two colors again at the top like that. And just kind of very lightly. Very lightly, okay? You don't want to use too much pressure when you guys do marbling because your marble will end up looking really mushed together. And it's not going to be have any defined like little veins in it. Alright guys, make sure you keep it on a thinner side too. And now that is done and dry, I am going to go in with a new powder and I am going to apply the first bead just a tad bit above the green. And I'm doing two beads again because I want to make sure this nude is um, dark enough to cover up the green. So just playing it safe, I will be applying my first bead just above the green uh, a tad bit. Alright. Now we're gonna wait for that to dry just a little bit more and then go into my second bead closer to the cuticles but not super close and now I'm gonna use my brush and just kind of lightly press it into the cuticles like that. Make sure you just flush the product into the cuticles where it's not super thick at the cuticles 
because when the client nails grow out you don't want a little bump or a little hump right there around the cuticles and now that is done we're gonna go in with I'm using the not polish OMG collection glitter again just to go over the top of the green just a bit because I felt like the green was a little bit too vibrant for this look so I'm just gonna tone it down just a bit no not too vibrant I just want to tone it down just a bit with the glitter And I'm gonna wait for this glitter to dry just a little bit more before I encapsulate it with the crystal clear powder. The reason why is if the glitter is still wet and then I am gonna go in with my crystal clear powder, the powder might, the clear powder might just drag the glitter off the nail. So I'm just gonna wait for that to dry a little bit. And now this is dry, I'm gonna go in with the crystal clear powder, <laughs> the crystal clear powder, and I'm just gonna go above the um, marble effect just a little bit like that like about 80% of the nail and then now I'm gonna flatten out the top first there you go once the top is flattened down I am gonna lightly tap and pull it down but don't use too much pressure when the powder is still more on the wetter side because you end up pulling off too much products more products than you would like all right now that is almost set in i am going to use more pressure to press and pull it down to the rest of the nail like this and then i'm just going to press it into the nail just a bit and then we're just going to cut it off at the end and we're just going to cut off that little tip right there all right, now everything is dry. I am gonna go in with the not, uh, not the nine in one, the five in one cross bit from Not Polish again. And first thing I like to do is taper in the side of the nail first because that's gonna save me a lot of time hand filing later on. And now I feel like that's good enough for me. I'm just gonna go in on the top and just smooth everything out. And then now I'm gonna go in with the Not Polish um, hand file and just shape up the nail to the shape that I want, which is always gonna be coffin because I've been obsessed with coffin. Same goes for this nail. We're gonna just go in and taper in the side of the nails first. And then you're gonna go, and then I'm gonna go over the top of it to make sure I smooth everything out. And I think I'm going to need to buy a new hand soon because the skin on these hands is coming up. Alright, now I'm just going to go in with the file and just lightly shape it up. And when you guys are hand following the shape, make sure you guys have a very sturdy grip on the nails. All right, now that is done, we're gonna go in and make sure we buff it out nice and smooth. And for the butterflies, I will go in with the top petal first like that. Give it a little swoop right there and then in, there you go. And then I'm gonna start at the bottom wing. <laughs> there you go. So the top wing, the bottom wing, and then now we're gonna connect the bottom wing together. And then I'm gonna make this like a tiny little heart first. It's kinda look like a crooked heart, but it's still, you see that little heart right there? All right, you see how I made that tiny little heart? And then I'm gonna bring it down right there. You guys see that heart right there? And then I'm just gonna go in and darken in some area and give it a little bit more lines. And you want some thinner lines and some thicker lines in the butterflies also. And I'm just gonna go in and color in on the outer edges like this. You see how I give it that little dark effect on the outside like that? And this butterfly is super fast to do. And I'm just gonna darken up the top like that. 
And for these butterflies, we want some areas of the thicker black gel because we're going to go in with little white dots and rhinestone on top of it, all right? And now I'm going to hold these two nails together to make sure that my butterfly will line up with each other. And now I feel like I level it pretty well. I'm going to go in and draw my other butterfly. So I always start with the first um, wing first. There you go. And just darken in that area. Some area thicker and some areas thinner. All right. And now I am going to start on the bottom wing. So just connect it right there and then swoop it out like that. And then I'm going to add a little needle right there at the end. And then again, making a little heart in between like this. And then go down. And then we're going to go in and color on the side in like this. And darken that area just a bit. You see that little heart that I just create? I'm going to go in with other lines. With the inside of the butterflies, you can add as many details as you want. But I just feel like don't overdo it, okay? And now that's done. I am going to go in with a white gel. Make sure you make sure you cure the butterfly first. And then you go in with the white gel to create all these little tiny dots like this. And then make sure you leave some spot for the rhinestones also. Again, don't overboard with the white dots. There you go. I'm just going to add a few dots here and there. Make sure some dots are bigger, some dots smaller, just to give it a little bit more dimension. Right now I'm going to go in the top and add it a little bit wing and I have a little bit of a white still on top of my brush so I'm going to go in and darken this side up a little bit more just like that. And we're going to cure it for 30 seconds again under the UV lights now that it's um, cure and dry I'm going to go in with a matte top coat on both of the nails and a matte top coat on top of the nail. And then before we cure it, I like to clean off the edges, the side of the nail, just a bit just to retain the shape of the nail. Because once the gel goes on, sometimes it can ruin the shape before you dry it. So make sure you clean off the edges just a bit. Just lightly run your finger down on both sides of the nail or and then over the, um, the tip of the nail just to make sure that the shape is stay sharp. And then I like to go, because it's a clear nail, so I'm going to go underneath the nail with a clear gel po uh, polish just to make sure that the nail is going to be more see-through after it's cured. So now that it's done and dry for 30 seconds, I am going to go in with a uh, not polish dipping base and I'm just going to work in small section at a time because this dipping base does dry on its own when you work when you apply gems like this. So make sure you work in small section just to be sure that you have um, enough time to work to put to put on your rhinestone before that um the dipping base dry all right now i'm just gonna go in and just apply my gems and for anybody when you guys are using dipping base for smaller gems and if you want to speed up the drying process of the gems you can use an activator on top just make sure before you use an activator that you do not have any dipping base on top of the rhinestone because if you do and you put on the activator you will make your rhinestone super dull okay you will just dull it out and if that does happen you can go over um on top of the rhinestone just a bit with a gloss top coat just to bring back the shine but it's just not going to be the same but you know just putting it out there for you guys to know and i'm just going to go in again just in small section like that and I'm only using dipping uh, dipping base um, for small gems. I would not do it for the bigger gems because I don't. It's not gonna be super secure secure for your clients. All right. And I always use use a jewelry gel for the larger gems. So these gems are a little itty bitty. So I'm just gonna use the dipping base for it. 
and the bigger the, the little bit bigger gems you use more of the dipping base the smaller gem you use for smaller amount of base and this is the finished product of the butterfly look how cute and simple and i'm pushing back the nail because it tends to slip out a little bit while i'm working on them so just lightly push it back in and there you go oh there i go saying the same <laughs> all right i try not to say there you go a lot but i did it and i hope that does not bug you guys a lot all right, now I just clean off the edges and this is the finished product. Super cute, super summery, and super, super simple to do. And what do you think about that video? Make sure you like the video, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment if you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.